بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Allah tells us in Surah Yasin in Surah 36 in the Quran as we know a very popular and a very famous surah definitely a special surah Allah says وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ أَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَكُمُ اللَّهِ Allah says that there are certain people when they're advised or encouraged to give even a small amount of charity, a small amount, mimma razaqakumullah, not everything Allah has given you, but something from it, a small percentage, a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of, uh, you know, something positive here and there. For these people, when they're advised or when they're told to give even a small amount to charity. Allah says that those who reject faith tell those who believe. They respond by, by asking the believers. So you notice something here that believers are supposed to be people of charity. Excuse me, believers are supposed to be people who value charity, especially as it relates to feeding the poor and the needy, the orphans, the widows, etc., especially as it relates to food. Because if a person is hungry, then nothing else matters. People have to eat. So within this, we within this ayah, it's understood that by default, the mu'min is supposed to be charitable within their capacity. So it's understood that they're already practicing this. And then they're, in addition to that, they're also encouraging others to be charitable as well. However, when those who reject faith, those who have no iman, who reject iman, when they're encouraged to give charity, even if it's a little bit, they respond by saying, should we feed those who, if God wanted to feed them, he would have done so. And then Allah ends the ayah so perfectly, subhanAllah. Allah says, In antum illa fi mubin. And what's powerful about this statement, this can be understood in two ways. It depends on, so think of an English translation, it depends on where you put the quotation marks. In antum illa fi mubin, think of the statement as meaning, you know, um, you guys are lost. You guys are clearly lost. Think of it that way. It could be understood in, in, in different ways. One way is those who reject faith are telling those who accept faith, should we feed those who if God wanted, he would have fed them? You guys are clearly lost. That's one way of understanding it. Another way of understanding it is that those who disbelieve, tell those who believe, should we feed those who if God wanted to, he would have fed them, end quote. And then Allah is telling those, Allah is telling the disbelievers that you guys are clearly lost. In antum illa fi mubin. So from this ayah, the main takeaway, the main action item for you and me both, is what the importance of giving charity, especially as it relates to feeding people. So let's make this an action item that we're going to do today, that we're going to do tonight, inshallah, to actually give charity. The, you know, the, the, the point of a reminder is not just the reminder, just like the point of putting gas in the tank of your car you don't do that just for the sake of putting gas in your car. The whole point of that fuel is to use it. So the whole point of a reminder is to practice it as best we can. So let's make the intention now and the firm intention with determination that, you know what, tonight, maybe even right now, to give something, to donate online to whichever organization to help feed people, to help the needy, to help orphans, especially. Wasn't our beloved Prophet himself sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raised as an orphan? There, there, there's, there, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of power in that fact sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
And the Prophet encouraged us, in addition to that, the importance of helping orphans, supporting orphans. So let's turn this reminder into an action item. Let's give some charity tonight in general, especially to a cause to help feed the needy, to help feed people. We ask Allah to help us to do so, to turn the theory into practice, to actually live this reminder, to actually live this ayah. We ask Allah to protect us from being clearly wrong. We ask Allah to protect us from being in, as some translations would put it, manifest error. We ask Allah to protect us from that. We ask Allah for, for light, for nur in this life and the next. We ask Allah to illuminate our pathways. Amir Rabbil Alameen. Rabbana atmim lana nurana wa ghfir lana innaka ala kulli shayin qadir. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wasalamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.